each baseman and the shortstop could only be in one of those sections. Payoff pitch called strike three. January was ready to walk to first base, but instead he'll walk to the dugout. January, I'm moving on to February. <laughs> Nasty pitch right on the outside. Harkin not too quick to the plate. Fastball on the outside corner, a called strike three. Usually a fastball is a primary pitch, and especially coming off a night with Brian Flynn, where you see a lot of his fastball, it's a good change of pace, and it's clearly paying off. Working in the game, he has the leadoff man gone in the fourth. Glenn Dinning, the shortstop, is over on the second or on the first base side of second, and it won't matter anyway. Oh, another one-two-three inning for Scott Harkin. He's retired the last five batters he's faced. Another punch out, give him four in the game. As the 0-2, cut on a missed, and there's a strike three. You stood next to Kennedy, haven't you? He's a big man. A couple times. <laughs> He's huge. 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. So a tough inning for the Aces as the Giants bring four runs across, five runs across, excuse me, to tie this game up. Solid outing in Sydney as well. And he needs just four pitches to pick up a strike out here to start the eighth. Nasty breaking ball in the outer half and Lattimore chased. Pause from Rusky from the stretch. Deals. Fastball called strike three. Freezing January. Case where I think January might have been looking breaking ball, expecting that, that hammer curve ball. Rutsky set. Now the one two. Just missing outside. Did he go? Yes, he did. Gets out of the ninth with his second strikeout. Let's take a look here. Yep, looks like Ward went around. Here's the payoff. Waving a whiff, strike three. Dan McGraw punches out Carr for the final out of the 10th inning. But a run comes across. 